This week on The Bold and the Beautiful, spoilers say Steffi Forrester Jacqueline McInnes would will continue her reign of terror at Forrester Creations. It might be time for even diehard Queen Steffi fans to admit that the fashion heiress has been over the top lately. Is there more going on with her than what meets the eye? Keep reading to find out. Here's what's coming up next on Bold and Beautiful, spoilers ahead. Steffi Forrester returned home from being locked in a cage for a week and drugged by Looney Luna Lisa Yamada, as if nothing happened, and went right back to work at Forrester Creations. Even her husband Finn, who is a doctor, seems blind to the amount of trauma his wife endured. Does Dr. Finn Tanner Novlin know about the extent of Steffi's issues with drugs in the past? Before Finn arrived on Bold and Beautiful, Steffi went through a dark time in 2019. The Forrester CEO's life was in shambles, and she had to give her daughter back to Hope Logan Annika Noel and Liam Spencer Scott Clifton. Steffi went to a dark place and was battling an addiction to opioids. Now she's clean and sober and happily married to Finn, but is she really sober? Steffi has been acting agitated and aggressive since her kidnapping ordeal, and her obsession with taking down the Logan women has taken on a life of its own. Viewers chalk Steffi's behavior up to her traumatizing ordeal with Luna, but has she fallen off the wagon? No one could blame Steffi for relapsing, Luna didn't exactly give her a chance to say no thank you. But it's odd that her family and husband haven't even considered the fact that she may be abusing drugs again. Plus, imagine how easy it would be for her to get them now that she's married to a doctor. Do you think that Steffi is back on drugs, and that's why she's acting out at work? The bold and the beautiful BNB spoilers are ready for a new week, and we have plenty of fun spoilery goodies to share. The week of Monday, October 28th to Friday, November 1st looks like it's going to be a fun one. There's a hint that all but Steffi Forrester Jacqueline McInnes would will agree with Carter Walton Lawrence St. Victor. It seems likely since it would expand the company and make them a powerhouse. Plus, Eric Forrester Owen McCook will welcome Ivy Forrester Ashley Brewer and her niece Electra Forrester Linnea Grace, saying this is how a legacy is built. Since Ridge Forrester Torsten K will be at his side, we expect it to lead to bigger and better things. Of course, Steffi won't be happy, and when she finds out about Carter and Hope Logan Annika Noel, she'll confront Hope. We've been expecting this for over a week now, but it looks like Steffi will blame Hope seducing Carter to save her line. Maybe Hope should lock her in a cage. That seems to be the only way Steffi stops bullying. It looks like Carter's proposal will work and the bold, and the beautiful spoilers can't wait. Not only will this be fun to watch Steffi melt down, but it'll work into the events in Genoa City between Victor Newman Eric Braden and Jack Abbott Peter Bergman's war. We're just guessing they'll agree since Eric and Ridge will greet Ivy and Electra. Eric will tout them as the way to begin a legacy. It'll be a warm welcome and should make things exciting as Forrester Creations heads in a new direction. Another hint is where Carter will tell Deacon Sharp Sean Cannon there are great things ahead for Forrester. Part of that will be his support for Hope's line, which will once again come under fire. Now that Steffi has donned her black cape, so to speak, to signify being the bad guy she'll own it. She's been nothing short of a bully, and one that didn't learn her lesson when she was locked in a cage. We don't blame Hope if she wants to try that, but it probably won't work out for her. Steffi will once again get in her face and try to push her around, accusing her of seducing Carter to gain his support. She won't care that Carter's been allegedly planning this for years or months, it'd be nice if the writers picked one. She'll just see Hope being an evil Logan thwarting her destiny in some way. Things should get interesting, and we're curious if Steffi will be booted from Forrester to force her to grow up. How will this work out for Steffi? Let us know in the comments below. The bold and the beautiful Jacqueline McInnes what has one of the best-dressed characters in daytime, as viewers often see. Whether Steffi's at the office or at home, she can rock any look, and the same can be said for her portrayer. The CBS soap actress took to social media and posted a video dreamy in House of CB clothes and asked, which one is your favorite? While she started off wearing a tan and white sundress, would modeled a few more including a blue and white plaid number, a short white beauty, a pink one, another blue one and more, and as you're watching and deciding which is your fave, 
You'll also be treated to a special guest star on the scene, 